Shame of the misfortune. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Mark Hashim video in this mini Lebanese Arabic lesson. If, by the way, you want full Lebanese Arabic lessons, check out the link below. We're offering full immersive lessons. Beginner, intermediate, and advanced. You get a whole library of on-demand lessons. The beginner ones are $10 a month. The intermediate lessons are $15. And they also cover the beginner ones. And the advanced lessons are $20 a month. And they cover the whole library. That's the full package. And you save 15% when you sign up for a year. So check it out, those of you who want to strengthen their Arabic, and specifically Lebanese Arabic, and you're looking for something immersive, quality, and fun. All right, so let's cover some interesting expressions. Let me start with the first one here. Yekul atli. That's literally to eat a beating. Of course, because in the Middle East, you know how much we love food. So it makes sense that even a beating is something you can eat. Akal atli. He ate a beating. Ta'ame atli. He fed him a beating. This is something our parents would say sometimes. Takeul atli. Yeah. Takeul at. Bas. Takeul atli. So that's one expression. Next one. And that one my grandpa used to say, Allah irhamu, rest his soul. Mrakab ras hamar. So, mrakab comes from irakib, which is to build. Not to build a building, that's yammer, or yibni. But irakib is to build like IKEA furniture. Am trakib shi. And ras hamar is the head of a donkey, or the head of a jackass. So, mrakab ras hamar is he built himself a jackass head. He's an idiot, basically. It's, doesn't, ma bifham. Mrakab ras hamar. My grandpa was the king of sarcasm. So, this expression is just beautiful. Next, we have a little interesting one I want to cover. Sma minni. Sma minni. Sma is listen or hear. Minni is from me. So, sma minni would literally mean listen from me. Doesn't work in English. How is it usually used? It's hear me out. Take my advice. Do as I say. That kind of stuff. But yisma usually means to hear. Yitsamma. Yitsamma is to listen. So you have also samma alayhi. Ambit samma alay. He's listening to him. That's literally to listen. But sma minni, even though it literally means hear from me, translates as listen to me. Do as I say. So just a little distinction. Because you also have yusri in standard Arabic, which is to listen, as in to really pay all your attention. Usri. Okay, next one. Aib shum. So aib shum is shame on you, shame on this. So aib is something like shame, embarrassment, something you want to hide. And shum, which I discovered thanks to my awesome mom, comes from shu'm in standard Arabic, which is misfortune, bad. So, if you put all that together, aib shum, it translates as shame of the misfortune. Shame of the misfortune! It's a pretty epic Shakespearean expression. It's pretty deep, but quite common. Aib shum. Walau! No! Shame of the misfortune! Seriously? It can also be used in a loving way. If someone is too shy to ask for something, and you're like, Ya'ib Baita baitak, walau, don't be shy. And now I want to finish with this expression. Hu'ayya. Hu'ayya. That literally means, and which. So that expression is used to say, seriously, not just that, I even gave him a hundred dollars. Hu'ayya. Seriously. That's kind of the meaning. But it literally translates as, and which. And which. Ayya. Ayya. Ayya wahad. I haven't discovered the origin of why this word is used like that. But know that you can use it to say, seriously. Ayya. So there you go, covering a few Arabic expressions. If you happen to know your own expressions, please add them, whether in Arabic or any other language you know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're new and you like everything. Culture, Lebanon, Arab world, education, and some comedy in there. Thanks for watching another Mark Hashim video, and we'll see you next time. Take care. This is a rising picture. Duh.